Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to use this Casio FX991 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator to evaluate functions for inequalities. Let's get started with this. We will evaluate our function, which is called f of x, or we sometimes call it just y. So y, y greater than zero, equal or greater than zero, and smaller than zero, or f of x or y smaller or equal than zero. For that, we can do this. For example, if this is our function, minus x squared 8x smaller than zero, we can do it in this calculator by pressing this button and then go to the next screen and here INQ, INQ, inequality, press 1 and here it asks for the degree of the function, second degree or third degree because ours is second degree I'm pressing 1. We can do all these four tests, greater, smaller, equal or greater, equal or smaller and because our function is smaller, number 2 and here it asks us for the value First, we will enter for the a coefficient of the highest term, minus 1. I am pressing minus and then 1 and then equal. It moves to the next one. And then b is minus 8, minus 8 and equal. And c, because we don't have any other, any other term, we enter 0. And after that, press equal and it will be evaluated that for the function, to be great, smaller than 0, x is smaller than a, which is 8, so x is smaller than 8 and x is greater than 0. And here I'm using desmos.com, the graph, and, and here is our function. And when x is smaller than minus 8, y is 0, all the values. And when x is greater greater than 0, then y is 0 at this point. So all this area, y, we don't have any value above 0. And here you can see full plot here. Now let's do this cubic. So first uh, go to the menu, press down, inequality, press 1, and then cubic, press 2. Now, because we are doing the function f of x is greater than 0, we have to pick number 1, cubic greater than 0, 1. And here we have to enter a, b, c, and then we have also d. a is 1, 1, and then equal. b is 6, 6, and then equal. Minus 9, minus 9, equal. And then d is 1, as you can see d now appears, a is on the other side, 1, and then equal. If I press equal sign, it does the calculation, and here is the result. And it says x is smaller than b, greater than a, and x is greater than c, but we have to see it by pressing this button. Now let's go to dismos.com, and here is my function. and I'm activating it, so this is a function, like that. And as you can see here, when x is greater than minus 7 and smaller than 0 0.1, when y is greater than 1, this condition, when y is greater than 0, so here, greater than uh, minus 7.1 and smaller than this value, if I click, you will see here greater than minus 7.25 here, as we can see. And this point is minus uh, 0.121. And then C, then this area is below the 0, so we are not concerned. And then for C, minus 1.1. So X is greater than 1.13. When X is greater than 1.138, then y is greater than 0. Now let's do this one, which is equal or smaller, but quadratic. Press this arrow, go down, 1, and then for quadratic or second degree, press 1. And this time, the function is 
y or the function is smaller or equal than 0, we select number 4. Here, a is 3 this time, the coefficient, and then b minus 6, and then c is 1, and if I press equal, we see this value, x is greater than this value and x is smaller than this value, but let's just press this button, standard and decimal, so we can see it properly. And here the function is selected. And here, as you can see, if I click here, at this point it says that when x is greater than 0 0.1835, and here, and when x is smaller than 1.816, our y is equal or smaller than 0 at this point. And this time our function is greater than 0, but it is also quadratic, so let's go. And we can press equal because we have the same function. Now put 4 for a, for b 5, and then equal, and then for c 7, and then press equal. And as you can see, it says no solution. And let's have a look. It says no solution. To access all my other videos related for this calculator, please check the link below the video in the description. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Casio FX911 ES Plus second edition scientific calculator. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos. When I press it, it gives me the answer. This is a uh, exact value if you want it in this binary. Minus alpha x plus 1. And so I'm pressing 1. And let's enter it minus 1526. Minus, for minus press that, minus 1 equal 5 equal 26. And then equal. This plot have been provided from desmos.com. I will provide you the link.